The lead coin-like items found in Ruhuna, in the southeast of the island of Lanka, have a variety of wildlife and human figures drawn on them. Most are unique and found singly. They have probably votive tokens as still buried in foundations of houses. Many ancient coins were found in Ruhuna in the southeast of Lanka, particularly close to a place called Akurugoda. Maritime trade brought in coins from overseas, but local coins were also manufactured. These were not recognized till the early 1980s when jungle land was distributed to villagers for farming. Farmers cultivating these new agricultural lands also washed the soil looking for gems, and in the process they found coins. Most of the lead coins types were new and interesting. A dealer named Mr. Ratnayaka recognized the importance of these base metal items and made them available to coin collectors in Colombo. The book titled Ruhuna Ancient Civilization Revisited was published in 2000 by Osman Bopiarache and Raja Vikramasinghe. Raja had post purchased most of what Mr. Ratnayaka brought him from Ruhuna. I have now acquired a selection of the best 60 of the 276 coin-like items catalogued, including all three on the cover. 32 of them are unique inscribed lead tokens and form a large part of 46 such items in the Laktiva collection. Some of the Brahmi inscribed lead tokens on obverse has geometrical floral designs which are easy to describe. This has six petals on six more petals behind of the same size, extending to rim. On reverse, this token has eight Brahmi Akshara. This beautiful token appeared on the cover of the Ruhuna book. On obverse, a marine turtle as seen from above can be reasonably matched with a photograph. The reverse has seven Brahmi Akshara. The instantly recognizable symbol for a fish, as seen on obverse, can be matched with a photograph. As it does not uniquely identify the fish type, such comparisons are not useful. Or reverse has three Brahmi Akshara. On obverse, an elephant with moon signal above. This abstract representation is not realistic art. On reverse, three Brahmi Akshara interspaced with the swastika, moon, and fish symbols. 20% of these lead tokens have images of elephants which are with the trunk are unambiguous. To visualize the art clearly, I got a wildlife artist, Sanjay with Viratunga, to illustrate in color the ancient art seen on 10 of these lead tokens. The art was guided by an on outline traced from an enlarged print of a scan and deviating as little as possible to get a realistic representation. The process highlighted some features which had not been noticed previously. On obverse, a cockbird to write. A jungle fowl was drawn as it is endemic to the island and the national bird of Sri Lanka. On reverse, six Brahmi Akshara around anticlockwise swastika at the center. Many four-legged animal figures, which are not elephants, are identified by default as lions by Raja Vikramasinghe. In an older 1998 book, Some Old Coins by KNV Sion, many such were by default tigers. 
The above three coins now in the Laktiva collection um, were among the ten I selected to get drawn. On obverse, a common monitor lizard with a swastika in front. Note the log, long legs and with claws. Clearly not a stylized lion. On reverse, eleven Brahmi Akshara round the edge. On obverse, a barking deer. Note the slender legs and the pose with open mouth. Clearly not a maneless lion. On reverse, eight Brahmi Akshara. On obverse, an antelope in flight. Note the stubby tail and the two legs pointing up and the horns. Clearly not a jumping lion. On reverse, four Brahmi Akshara, which was read on the same type of coin found in India and in the collection of Jan Lingan. On obverse, a feline facing right. The posture and the tail matches that of a leopard which is the big cat found on the island. A pennant symbol above. On reverse, Brahmi Akshara are illegible. On obverse, a lion passant to right. The tail of the lion is symbolically drawn folded over the back like in the national flag of Sri Lanka. On reverse, Brahmi text illegible with an eight petal flower round a central dot. On obverse, a horse galloping to right, trace of Brahmi Akshara around. On reverse, eight petal flower around a central dot within two concentric gear wheels. On obverse, a stag walking right with a large set of anklers. On reverse, four Brahmi Akshara which are illegible. On obverse, a maiden standing with her right leg bent back, right hand with mirror held up to face, left hand holding her long plait extend into a hip and divided in two at the end, as used even today. Trident symbol in front. On reverse, elephant standing to right. On obverse, elephant, tusker standing right with extended organ. Elephants who have seven points that can touch the ground are locally referred to as saddanta, sat being seven. On reverse, four Brahmi Akshara. The coins illustrated in this lecture and many others that circulated in Lanka are described in detail in the internet websites maintained by me, httpcoins.laktiva.org, with over thousand web pages. Thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoyed the lecture. I hope you visit the website for more information. Thank you.